this amount of space moving out. I should have been told, <coughs> not out and then. It should be straight forward, short as it was, not one and then first extend. All you're doing is accelerating the arm. You're not accelerating your body mass. So time it so that the rear knee extension is in sync with the elbow extension. So instead of that feeling, I'm still driving my knees. The legs are driving. Your body is not front side and back side. Not one way or the other. So maintain that balance position and stability. It's like just walking forward. Close. So as you start your technique, don't break. Force them up here. Again, the legs and your center. Make it ton of Drive your attention. Try to the side. You have to overcome that momentum. From here, it should be going forward. Close. Not back. There are times where you face it, you turn it back. Now, from this position, Close. if he's moving, it should deflect outside, not just come to my center. That's already true. It will also be true if you bring it back like regular basic practice. You can't afford to move it in any position except if I finish here and he comes in. This has to go right from there. It affects his balance down. Then again, that same arm should be able to use for the technique. Don't always rely on the opposite arm. You get one, two. You should be able to three techniques in there. Then if I'm in this position and he starts to punch and I move full, I run right into the punch. This here, he starts to punch, this is already in there. Not start moving and then first make this too late. Close. Just the timing of it. Any questions? You can, or it is necessary. It depends on how deep his attack is. As I said earlier, if, if I'm in this distance and he's right here, I don't have to pull it back. If he comes in on me, then I can adjust the point. So it's distance dependent. Any other questions? It's in no position to do anything. Especially here. I can't do anything with it. Where it ends up, that's where it's moving from. Same thing in an outside block. Where it finishes, that's where the technique starts. Not, I don't have time to always move that and adjust it. Inside, right from there. Not always an extra move. Application, you never bring punch. This arm back. This is always going to do something. So anytime you bring your heel to get back, it can't do anything. Learn to use your arms. Connect your elbows to the body. Even if it's out here, you should still be able to use your body control for your body function. Learn to coordinate all the muscle groups to that center. Even if my arm is out here, I don't bring it in first. I can take it. You know, shortest, shortest parts. Connect it to your center. Any questions? If I'm bringing this arm all the way across, it's wasting time and movement. As that's coming in, this has to be here. It should be there to do something. Don't make such a big Close. Instead of it coming across here, it should be here. Close. You can use it then in any position. So it just cross up, not. Same thing with uh, inside box. Not basic.
basics is here. Application, here. Use it more efficiently. Do not bring it back. It's a wasted move. Unless I bring it back and I have a hold of something. Then I can bring it back. Otherwise, you don't want to bring it back. Even the leading arm. Always the leading arm. Anything should be able to be used immediately. Any questions? It should be there. Close. The more efficient your movement, the less energy you're expending. It should be stable. If I start to move, it should not be out of position. It should be in a stable, neutral position throughout. It should always be a control move from that center point. So it shouldn't go back and forth, it shouldn't go lateral movement. Everything is the same as a set of one. You don't want this way or this way. That hip is always centered, it's always stable. Just the arms and legs are moving. The pelvis isn't changing any position. Keep that same position even when you're stepping forward. Keep that same position. Unless you're, unless special circumstances, or you're doing some special technique. Otherwise, should be level. If I start expanding, he has the advantage. The moment I start lowering my center of gravity and compressing, you use your whole body to make that movement. Close. And you come over here of that arm coming in. And from here, again, I'm going to be wide open to his punch if I don't get this up there. So if I'm moving from here, this, again, is an attack. I'm not just leaving it here, and I'm wide open then. So in action application, this, I'm already attacking and then going in on another attack. Close. So you have to break it down step by step. But almost always that lead arm is doing something in between. There's always some distraction or something to stop it. If it's just one, I'm going to get that coming in. Unless your timing is from here, your timing is good then. So your timing is always important. Any question? Looking into the floor. If I'm up here, the more you sink, it puts the quadriceps on a stretch. Any muscle that is put on a stretch prior to contraction is going to contract with greater force. But if it's a right partial, you don't have that same drive. But in time, you learn to coordinate those muscles so that I have that same punch. I have that same feeling of being centered, even being up in this position. I don't have to be down here. You can be up here and still you know, make, make that move. And again, it's always your footwork. The feet are in position to do something. It's your footwork. I said, I can move my arms, and I'll say this tomorrow. My body isn't going anywhere unless I move my feet. It's your footwork. The footwork is important The judo, aikido. Karate, you learn just step forward, step back, side, side. Not much emphasis on good, clean footwork. And try to affect a lighter feeling of connecting to the floor. Now, you should still be able to connect and feel light. If you're always feeling heavy, it's difficult to start immediately. Any other question? Start on top and come over. Only this time, this again, this come in. This movement doesn't attack itself, and then you're still going through here. So it's the same idea principle. You're just making that movement and attacking here. Already your body is close, you've pinned the elbow. 
And it's not my arm, it's my body movement that's making it work, not just the arms. Any questions? So there's many different ways to do that. The person who has hair, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> So from here, you know, attack the ribs, and this and then you have another technique. So there's always some switching, there's always some switching, one technique for the next. Not, it's too late to go in. Close. As I said, where my arm finishes, that's where they start. I have no time to create extra movement. The finish, End of one technique is the immediate beginning of the next technique from the position you ended in. Not end of one technique is the beginning of the next technique and draw it back where it ends. And if you're using the down the eye from here, I can't use that arm if I pull it back. If it's up in a position, I get all those techniques in there. It's just using your body more efficiently and effectively. You give any space, any time with the attacker, and he'll be on top of you. So once you go on the offensive, it isn't over until he's down on the floor and can't do anything. That's the basic idea you want. Close. Any questions? Grabbing through, break. It's right, you have everything hooked right in there rather than backhand. If the other arm grabs, it's the same thing. This and it takes it right there. Normally, you'd never have the distance. 
that downward component. There's a reason for this. If I simply deflect to the side, nothing. It's right there. So again, there's a purpose in angles and pressure. And it's right there. So there's a reason for this course instead of just this way, I just throw the arm aside. I lose control over it. Any question? Both arms are being used. That's it. Understand? If I simply do this, unless I do this, if it's a straight punch, the back of the forearm. If it's a roundhouse punch, this isn't going to work. It's already in there. Again, both arms are being used for that. And again, the use that. Use both arms always. Any question? So instead of just coming through, One leads, two is the next and the next. Close. Close. 